So we've got our big guy and he can um, do the things that he needs to do. He can run around and pick things up. Um, he's got some animations that come with him and we're only using one of them at the moment. We're just using the idle animation. Uh, I want to add in the some of the other animations. Um, a, because it just looks really good, but also B, it, it helps us to think about some of the more complicated ways we can use events because we use events to trigger the different animations. So let's um, start simple. We're going to add a condition, our big guy. Um, we're going to do a, a, a bunch of these things are kind of triggers for animations. So we're going to say um, when is jumping, we are going to click OK on that. If we are jumping, we're going to add an action, which is big guy set animation change the animation by name is the best one to jump is somewhere in here so, okay we saw there was a whole bunch of animations there we'll, we'll look at a few more of those uh, we can try that out now this is going to be not optimal but it will do uh, the first stage of having an animation so there we are and then i jump and it changes to that animation he suddenly stopped doing the idle animation and he seems scared. Let's go and look at why that is. If we click on a big guy and look into his um, animations, we can see the jump animation, which is this one here. Um, it's only four frames, so he does this jump and it's not set to loop, right? which is kind of fair enough because we just want him to, go to get to that point and then when he lands we want to go back to his idle animation perhaps so we need to do some more triggering to go to go from idle uh, so from the jump animation to the idle animation so let's have a, a think about that um it's, it's really fiddly sometimes getting this to to work um we're going to add a new event we're going to add a condition and we're going to say big guy when he is moving okay but I'm also going to add another condition because is jumping and is moving will kind of let they'll, they'll fight each other because he is moving whilst he is jumping so I'm going to add another condition which you may have spotted already that there is a is on floor option as well so if he's moving and he's on the floor we're going to add an action which is the big guy we're going to set his uh, animation by name where is it change the animation by name to um, run run okay and uh, while I'm here I think we'll add a new one which is going to be when the big guy is not moving so I'm going to say invert condition so when the big guy is not moving and the big guy is on the floor which uh, might not actually be necessary, but I'm going to throw it in there anyway, uh, just to kind of show the two of them. So I've got big guy is moving, is on the floor, set to run. Big guy is move, is not moving and is on the floor. I'm going to set to idle. Uh, set and change the animation by name to idle. So you can see there's quite a lot of fiddliness just to do those simple changes of animation. And uh, you, you probably noticed um, when I was scrolling through the list of animations there, there's so many different ones that we could be using for all the different triggers. There we go. We've got run, we've got jump, and we've got idle. And they all seem to be working. He is only facing to the right, though. So while I'm here, uh, this wasn't kind of in the scope of this video, but while we're here, we'll also flip him. So I'm going to do this as um, left key pressed we've already got. Simulate pressing left for big guy. Also, what I'm going to do is big guy... We should be able to flip him. Now, is it vertically or horizontally? It looks like horizontally looking at the little ellipse there. I'm going to say activate flipping yes when we press left. And uh, I'll also do when the right key is pressed, activate flipping. Where is that doing? Flipping no. So that should take him left and right based on those keyboard events. Let's just go and see how that looks. Left, right, jump. 
And it just feels a lot better now, I think. Uh, and I think that's enough for now. Um, like I say, there are many other animations. If we just go and have a quick look at the animations that we could be using. We've got idle, we've got run, uh, we've got ground. I'm quite sure ground is different from um, uh, idle. Maybe that's when you land on the ground because there's also a jump anticipation I noticed in there somewhere. We've got fall. So, you know, I guess when you do jump, you can transition into fall. And then we've got these attacks. We've got various kinds of dead. And I noticed there was a pickup bomb and there was a run with bomb. No idea how to use those and throw bombs. So it's quite, uh, you can imagine the complexity of the animation events to make those work. But we'll kind of cross that bridge when we come to it if we need to.